SQL syntax is super powerful. It has tons of tricks into it. Makes it really, uh, really a robust situation. But take a look at this. I can say, select first name, last name, yearly income from dim customer. Order it by the yearly income descending. Then I can put in an offset. I can say, okay, offset by zero rows. Fetch the next 10 rows only. What this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, it's going to return the SQL engine is going to go to the dim customer. It's going to get, or it's going to order all everything by yearly income descending. And then what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, from row zero to row 10, give me the first name, last name, and yearly income. All right. So watch this. So when I hit run on this, I get these three values and I see like, okay, hey, I've got or 10 values or theory fields, 10 values. And I could see these values with yearly income descending. But like, look at this. If I do, let's say 10,000 rows, fetch next 10 rows, it's going to go down 10. Look how fast that is, too. Like, that's crazy fast. 294 milliseconds, right? Um, it went down 10,000 rows and returned the 10 records the 10 records there that were inside that. And we see that those, the yearly income on those records at the 10,000 mark is $70,000, right? Isn't that amazing? So this is like a top end type sort filter functionality outside of Power BI. Pretty awesome, huh? I, I think so.